Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. You have the Empress. Wow. You know, getting the Empress first card out, I'm not surprised at all. Three of Wands is here. This has been a long time coming. The success has been a long time coming. The love has been a long time coming. The adoring your life, adoring yourself, stopping and thinking, wait a minute, I am me and I am amazing and I love being who I am. Whether you're male or female, it's time now to be an empress energy. It's It's been time, you know, and you are embodying this energy at this time and changes are going to happen in your reality as a result. You're going to do things like, you are doing things like caring for yourself, understanding how to live a luxurious life, what that means for you. That can be different things for different people, but you're doing it in a way that you're enjoying with it. You're enjoying it. You're not battling within yourself over whether or not you should be doing this. You deserve to do this. You know, you're not trying to make yourself enjoy something that you're not enjoying. No, doing things for other people. It's like, no, there is a balance here. And there is a time here when you give to yourself first. And this is what's happening at this time. There's a way that you're changing the way that you look. Your physical representation of self is changing. And this is reflecting the change that you have done within, within your soul, within your heart. Because you're allowing more of your heart to be seen. You're allowing yourself to be, to walk, to live as the true soul of who you are. And the way that you live, you're making changes. The way that things look, the way that you take care of things is changing. The way that you take care of yourself is changing. You could have flowers, put flowers all over your home. This is a small way that you are, you know, seeing the beauty of life and living amongst luxury and the beauty of life. So how can you do this in little ways throughout your day to where you have this strong, confident, um, sensual energy and people are drawn to you? That's what's happening here. There's nothing that you need to do. You don't need to say anything. Just walk into a room and sit and everything, you know, is unfolding for you. And this is something that it takes some time to do at different levels because we do it throughout different times of our life. You know, we can embody this energy and we do it through different levels. And you're increasing the level at which you do this. This is really a beautiful thing here. Eight of Cups. There is something that you moved away from because it's not, you know, the Empress is not just going to be associated with anyone. And that's just it. It's understanding who deserves to be in your energy and who doesn't deserve to be in your energy. And that's just it. Anyone that's going to cause any kind of heartache, uh, no, I'm not staying in that situation because her worth is validated from herself. So she doesn't need this situation to turn around. She's not going to settle for this circumstance, for this heartache. No, this situation is going to give and add value to my life. And as I increase in value, the situation will increase in value towards me as well. So there is something here that you realized, you know, hey, I'm I'm up here <laughs> and I'm putting in this much effort and I'm getting down here effort <laughs> in return. And that's not even and that's not right. And so I'm not going to accept that anymore. So we'll see more about this. 
You have Knight of Pentacles. This is calling somebody towards you. It feels like a person here. You moved away from a situation because it's like, I don't know what it is you think you're offering me, but this is not, this is not going to be it. It's like when you have this kind of energy behind things, you're drawing things towards you. And you're, you like teach people how to treat you in a way. I feel like there is a person who understands. Look at this four of wands. They know here. Look at this. You have the emperor and the page of swords. There is a person who is watching your moves, who is planning this, planning this upgrade in the commitment between you and them. Because they are, they see that you're not going to accept anything less. This is a person who really likes the way that you carry yourself. The way that you handle situations, the personality that you have, because you have a quiet confidence, you have something about you that's different than everybody else. And you do things in a way that's different. It's uniquely you, the way that you do these things. And there's a person here who really appreciates this. They want to come forward towards you. They want something with you. They want a commitment with you. They want to plan the future with you. They're wrestling with how to come forward. Working out in their mind, how am I going to do this? You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. They see you as very high value. They know that you focus on things and you get results. And you understand how to handle a lot of different things at the same time. It's like somebody really appreciates the way you're handling something that you're going through, the way you handle other people, other energies, um, your response to the world, your response to living life, everything. There is just something very particular about you that a person admires here. So there is something here about you have done some work here on yourself. And you have now gotten to a place here where outwardly and inwardly you're in this state of love. And this is why someone can come towards you without any blocks with that chariot card. This is why things are going to be moving forward for you in your life at a much faster pace here. It's like, you know, uh, the, everything. Look at this Ace of Cups. I'm telling you and you have the Hierophant. Okay, we need to clarify. Now we're going to clarify. This is ridiculous. This is new love. This is new love that's getting to another phase here. You have the strength card because it's like you're watching this all play out. <laughs> you're watching your dreams play out and it's playing out in slow motion. And you're like, you're ready to go. You want to jump into fast forward, but everybody else and everything else is in slow motion. But you can see in fast forward. So you are already over here. And everything is happening slowly over here. And if you try to act in fast forward, that's you can't do that. This is the problem here. A lot of you are, you know, you are very intuitive. You have different talents um, as far as like clairaudience or clairvoyance or claircognizance or all the clairs, whatever. Uh, you know, you getting dream downloads, visions, there's things that's happening for you now that's increasing and you know what's coming. And so this has been very difficult to allow this to unfold naturally because it's like you want to just go up to a person and be like, yeah, let's get married and have a baby. <laughs> And they're like just meeting you, <laughs> you know, because you're seeing things so far ahead. The strength is like you can see in your mind this already as if it's here. You feel it like it's here. So there is a way that you have to hold back. You have to hold back your energy. You have to be content on your own and you have to allow this other person to do to, you know, show up. For you as well you know because in your past you had a lot of people who they didn't show up for you you know you were the one who was doing everything and that's not yeah look at this four of pentacles spirit wants you to hold back and you don't want to hold back 
It's like you have to just be content and be happy right now as this all unfolds for you here. It's like this, um, if you ever saw um, it's an Infinity War, is it Endgame? And Doctor Strange, okay, this is a Marvel movie, so comic books. Uh, you know, he sees the future and he knows what's going to happen for them to save half of humanity. But if he tells everybody what happens, it's not going to happen. And, you know, everybody knows that he knows. So Tony Stark keeps looking at him like, yo, is this it? Like, hello? Like, tell me what's, what's going to happen. And he's like, if I tell you what's going to happen, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and he just keeps, like, looking at him like, I'm going to try to tell you with my eyes, but I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> you know? And this is like... It, you're focusing, you're channeling your energy into work. You're trying not to think about this other person, but it's like you are trying to get information about them. You're trying to see what it is that they're doing, you know. Maybe spying a little bit. If you know who this person is, some of you may not, but it just feels like a look at this page of swords. This person is doing the same thing to you, though, I feel like. They they want to know what it is that you're is going on with you as well. They want to know because, you know, I feel like you're somebody who, you know, you're not revealing a lot. You don't reveal a lot. You don't share a lot. So it's like, hey, they don't know how you're going to react. Let's see this one first. You have the two of pentacles and you have the devil here with the ace of swords you're gonna you're going back and forth here with being in balance being in your true nature being happy in your now okay being in alignment with your life's purpose and then wouldn't it just be easier if and it's almost like you're very tempted to slide back into old thought patterns, old behaviors, old vices, doing things that you have already moved past. It's like a little bit of temptation here because of the amount of time that things are taking. And also it's kind of like saying, okay, yeah, you have a lot of things that are changing for you here. You have a lot of things that are happening for you here. So don't waste money. Don't overdo it. Don't underdo it either. <laughs> you know, this is about being just right. And this is something that you're like learning how to perfect here. Because it's like you don't want to have this lack mindset. And it's like you're going to the grocery store and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't think I can get almond milk because you know what? This bill is just too much. And it's like, you need almond milk though? to do so just get the freaking almond milk and don't you know feel excited about it but then it's like you're having a great day every beautiful day and then you know you start to think about this person and you realize how much time it has been since you were in a relationship and you're like oh my gosh it's been so long since I've been they're not coming like they're just never gonna come so like I'm just gonna be alone and then you just like scroll and you like buy a bunch of clothes. You know, it's like, don't do that. <laughs> Ace of Swords is like, you. there's things that you cut out, keep them cut out. There's clarity that you have come into, uh, keep doing that. And you're doing it. You're doing it better than you think that you are. Um... Like there's areas where you could give yourself a little bit more of a break and celebrate how far you have come and understanding how to appropriately celebrate that. You know what? I worked really hard and I have increased the amount that I have come in so I can buy myself this beautiful, nice outfit. <laughs> I deserve to do that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Again. So there's, there's something going on with that. Let's see, let's see the Eight of Cups. Oh, you have the tower. Let's see. 
Why do I have the tower? This is way too many cards. You have the magician and the empress, yo. You have a lot of money coming. A lot of money coming. You're just fine tuning this empressness. You know, it's like there's things like, okay, these flowers, I have them all over my house, okay? Uh, they have been lasting. This is week two on these bad boys. They cost far, $4. Yeah, that's worth it because every single day I wake up and I walk around my apartment and I see all these flowers and I feel like I'm living in a palace. Whoa, it brings me so much joy daily that yes, this is our mother freaking win. And every now and then I get roses and roses only last one week. But you know what? They're also only $4 for six of them. And I spread those bad boys out <laughs> and I feel like I'm living in a palace. And it's like, yeah, maybe you talk to other people at lunch and they're like, you know, oh my God, it's such a waste of money. I would never do that. And it's like, okay, well, maybe for them, flowers don't mean that much. Okay, that's fine. They don't have to do that. But you can do these things to spoil yourself. That makes sense. It's like you have to be in this vibration of what it is that you're wanting and you're close. This is, you know what this is telling me? This is telling me that you're really, really close. You're very, very close because this is suddenly you get it. And the manifestation comes in of you living this empress mode. A lot of money coming in, an increase in your abundance that allows you to upgrade the way that you're living. And you celebrate that and you get acclimated to that and you get excited about that. And then you reach for more. You reach for more. You try to manifest again. You try to get in this uh, frequency of even more. And then you manifest that. And then, it, you know, it's always going. This is always, this is the cycle of life. So you're about to have a major increase. An influx of money here. And spirit wants you to be wise about what do you want to invest this in, right? There are ways that you can invest this into yourself where you're feeling more upgraded. You're feeling more, you know, luxurious, which is just going to increase the wealth that you're going to manifest in. There's ways that you could help others, you know, in moderation. Obviously, you want to um, put yourself first here. A lot of people don't, you know, think that that's appropriate, but I think that that's ridiculous. The more that you put yourself first, the more that you love yourself, the more abundant that you are, the more abundance you create, the more that you're going to have to give away. <laughs> like, hello. Hello. You know, if you barely have anything and you give it all away, well, now you have nothing. And now you're a person that other people have to help. So you're taking resources away from others. So this is messed up. There's something really big happening here. Okay. There's something that you walked away from. There could be one final thing, one final friend that you need to distance yourself from. One final, what are you watching? Is this helping or hurting? I don't know. You know, you got to see. So there's something here that you're cleaning up. You're really close. And it's just going to happen naturally. You know, if this is your intention, um, you know, feel good about that. Feel good about how far you have come. You know, uh, let's, let's see the night of pentacles. Temperance, Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Lovers. You are not chasing anybody down. You're not chasing anybody down. You're good in your independence. Yeah, I would like a love situation. I would like that here. But you know what? I'm good on my own. And I know that the right person is going to come along and you're allowing that to come to you. That's this Empress energy. When the right situation presents itself, that doesn't mean that you can't start a conversation with someone. That doesn't mean that you can't say something. 
but it does mean that you're going to allow the situation to unfold to happen in a natural way. You're not gonna go out with the intention to find someone. You're not gonna go up to them and, you know, you're not gonna force the whole thing easy, you know? That's different. So there's something here that you were all free. There was a way that you didn't really have a direction to what you wanted. And now you have a direction as to what you want. You want this financial security, this independence, this resilience that you have on your own, this abundance, right? And then you want someone to share this with that has it as well, you know? So this is what is coming towards you. And this is what happens when you allow situations to unfold naturally, when you focus your energy on yourself and you believe the right person is coming along, you're not chasing anything, you're allowing this to come to you, you're in receptive energy. You know, this is how you get a person who's a healthy person. Because when you're going out and looking for something, you're not whole within yourself when you're doing that. That's why you're doing that. And then the person you're going to find is not whole within themselves and they are looking for somebody as well. And then it's like, let's just, you know, steal happiness from one another. You need to do this so I can be happy. You need to do this so I can be happy. I'm going to try to force this to go this way. I'm going to try to force this to go this way. This is going nowhere. <laughs> you know, no, we're not doing that anymore. You've changed. You, you want to change. So you decided to change and good for you. Let's, let's see the emperor. Shut up. The emperor is clarified by the emperor and the queen of pentacles. There is a person here for you. There is a person here for you. They see you as a catch. They see you as a nurturer. They see you as beautiful feminine energy. But I'll say this. You could be masculine male or female doesn't matter they see you as who you are how you want to be seen you know the queen of pentacles is a is a mother you know she you know mothers see their children for for who they are you know it's well ideally right <laughs> this one does we're gonna say that so she sees her children for who they are the pureness of who they are and she loves that right so there is a person here that sees you for who you are, who it is that you truly are, what it is that you truly bring to the table. Because when you're validating yourself, you don't need that from that other person. You don't need things from this person. So you don't need them to be this or that or this or that or this or that. And this creates this battle with this person, you know. No. Instead, you're whole. And so you're just like, hey, what are you about? And they just get to be free and tell you what they're about. And you get to do the same thing. And so you have this commitment that's actually based on being free. But you're not free as in you're over here, you're over there, there's no direction, you're not loyal. That's not it. You are, but you're free to be who you are. And you're just sharing in joy together. It's a different it's a whole other ball game. And this is how the twin flame connection is supposed to be. This is how a divine counterpart is supposed to be. This is what we all came here striving for. That's what we all really want in a relationship and in life. You know, and you're realizing this and you're going to make the changes to actually go for it. <laughs> you know, you have the wheel of fortune, you have the eight of wands. So someone here, we're clarifying the page of swords. So somebody here who is gathering information, has gathered information, has gathered information. They've gathered enough information now. They know that they want to make this move. They know that it's time now for them to com come forward to you and to communicate that there is something more that they want. They're ready for this now. They have done the work to prepare themselves and this is in alignment with what they want. And that's why they're coming forward. It's like, you know, you kind of gave with this eight of cups. You may have pulled away from a situation, from a person, or for just from the world in general and focused your energy on yourself. And this is why you have this sudden uh, increase that you're manifesting that's coming for you here, okay, that you're going to see. But it's like, you know, when you do that, 
you're, you know, the universe knows, okay? The universe is understanding when you pull away like that. You're giving space. You're not reaching for other people. You're not reaching for things to feel something. And across the space, there is a silence. And in that silence, there is space for someone to show you who they really are. Because you want it to be just as much their idea and your idea. And we're going in the same direction. You have the same dream. Not somebody who it's like, okay, I think I can change them into what I want. Yeah, I could see this. Maybe in enough time, we'll get there. It's like, no, there's people, there's someone, there's your person that's ready right now for you. You know, this is, this is divine timing. Okay, let's, let's see the four of wands. You have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups here. You know, there is a part of you that uh, didn't think this was going to happen. You may be interpreting this person's actions as leaving you out in the cold. You may be interpreting the universe's actions as the universe has left you out in the cold, has abandoned you. There is something here about within the last five months, within the last 10 months, there was a love situation here, a potential love situation that did not work. It ended and you were very much so in your feelings about it. And this needed to happen. This was supposed to happen. This was your destiny for this to happen. Some of you need to hear this because some of you are thinking like, oh, you know, everybody else is happy in love and I'm not happy in love. So how come everyone else is happy in love and I'm not happy in love? Look at this person getting their new beginning. Look at that person. Look at this person. Look at that person. Look at all these stories out here. And it's not jealousy that I'm feeling. You're happy for these people. But you're like, I'm making the changes. So how come it's not happening? Why? Like, I want to know why so I can do something differently. I'm looking at somebody here who is very much so willing to be an active participant in their life and to take ownership and to really take a look at themselves. Because this is something that you really, 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 really wanted here. And what I can tell you is there's things that needed to happen because it was for your destiny. There is something here that you're going to do with your career. There is something here that you're going to do that involves helping other people, that involves, you know, the way that you represent light in this world, the way that you, there's something here that you had to go through a hardship to be able to do it. That's just it. And if you met this person sooner, if this worked out sooner, you wouldn't you wouldn't have you wouldn't have done all, you wouldn't have learned the lessons. You would have just said, "Well, I'm just forget that. I'm I'm good with just this." The spirit wanted you to have everything. It's like yeah, this, this is there's the, the reason why things happen doesn't matter anymore. Where are you now? Where are you going now? And you're focusing your energy towards that. And that's why this is that's why this is coming forward. What's the share in it? Okay, you have the four of pentacles. and the six of pentacles here you feel like this person is not coming towards you this could be a cancer person okay and they're not coming forward so you're like you know what i have a lot of options 
you want to close yourself off to any option that is not presenting as fair as equal give and take. The six of pentacles is not equal give and take. So there is a way that you're like, you know, this person hasn't shown up. They haven't actually done something to get this going. So are they closed off? Are they looking at other options? I'm not really sure here what's going on, but I know that I am not going to accept a half offer. Yeah, right. Get out of here. You know, it's like I know that you know that you have options and there's other, you know, you'll move if you have to move to find someone. Maybe I'm going to find someone somewhere else on this planet. That's fine. You know, you don't really care. It's just like you're just definitely not going to settle. And this is good for you energy. Um, I feel like this person wasn't coming forward because they take time to gather information. It takes them some time. They were not sure. They were uncertain about I feel like maybe they perceived that you had too many options and they perceived that, you know, you had, you know, more better offers out there than them. So that's like, why would you choose them? So this caused this person to clam up. I feel like this person is very nervous around you because they have a lot of emotions um, about you. And this caught this person off guard because wherever you meet this person, have met this person, um, they weren't expecting to meet someone at that point in time, in that point in their life, and they just didn't see it coming, you know, and they didn't, but it's what they asked for, it's what they wanted here. So the chariot is no blocks. So I still feel like this person is moving forward. Absolutely. It's not going to hold them back any longer here. You have the nine of swords and you have the eight of pentacles here. So it's like you're working away. Uh, focusing on something, but you are devastated here because you wanted something to happen. Look at this page of swords. So it's like trying to get more information about what's going on, but you are going to focus on what you can do at this time, on your work at this time, on other things, but then you swing back into nothing has happened yet. It's not going to happen. Another person that I liked isn't coming forward. There is nobody coming forward, whatever the case may be. And you're trying to learn, get more information on a particular person and see what it is that's going to happen. You know, this is the state that you're in when this, this offer comes in with this Ace of Cups here. So it's like, it's kind of like feels like this energy of you're freaking out for no reason. Let's see the Hierophant. Really? You have the Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands and the Chariot. There is somebody coming towards you. They're going to come towards you. They may have came towards you and it did, then they didn't. They had a plan and they didn't. And then they were kicking themselves because why didn't I say something? I had my opportunity. I didn't say something. And so this just gave them even more courage to say, I'm just going to say it next time. I can't not. And this person, if you haven't met them yet, they may have had other opportunities in love where they messed it up. They just didn't come forward in the appropriate way. And all of those mishaps were for this because this is the right one. This is the time for them to get it right. And so this is why it's taking a amount of time because both people need to be ready for each other, you know, and that's the universe's divine timing and you can't really like do anything about that. So that's just the way it goes. But you have, um, you have this, this person coming forward. They feel a lot of passion for you. They feel a lot of passion. There is a lot in this connection. They're very curious about you. They don't understand you, but this is in a good way because this is like, you're not like anybody else that they've ever met. And they really appreciate that here because they have a very positive attitude, um, but they're ready for something unique. They're ready for something different. This person really wants to collaborate with you and they don't know how this is going to go. They're not sure how this is going to go because you're not like anybody else they've ever met. So they don't know how to approach you. I feel like you make this person very nervous. They don't know how to come forward. They don't know what you're going to respond with. You have the king of 
cups here. So it's like this person, you know, they have a lot of emotions that they feel when they're around you. You have a very intense presence and they don't know what to do with this energy, but ultimately they're going to go for it anyways. Um, You know, you have Gemini energy here. You have Taurus. There's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's Aries here. You could be another Leo even. Um, yeah, okay. I feel like Libra, Gemini, too. Wow. The Emperor and the Empress. I cannot with that. And they both came out multiple times. Multiple times. And now you have, wow, Earth Mother. I'm telling you, didn't I say that, like, they see you like a mother would see their child? Like, they're just seeing the pure entity that you are. Feel love and comforted. Feel loved and comforted earth mother you know you are really embodying divine feminine energy at this time and this person sees this you know this could be the person you're attracting they're very divine feminine you're very divine masculine so that's okay if it if it goes the other way but somebody here and i feel like it's you is very divine feminine and very con and very much so connected to who they are and celebrating. How can you celebrate who you are? What does that look like for you? For her, it's putting flowers in her hair. You know, it's like for this, you know, she's wearing gold, you know, so there you go. It's like she's holding a flower, you know. This one is like, you know, laying in a luxury in a field or something. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like there's different ways that you can embody this energy throughout your day. This can be taking a second when you sip your coffee and just enjoying this second with you holding a cup of coffee. There's little things that you can do scattered throughout your day where you are this energy of luxury this energy of feeling beautiful of loving yourself loving your body accepting your body loving who you are accepting who you are you know knowing that everything is working out for you knowing that you are in control of everything and everything is coming towards you and the universe is working you know with you and you are abundant and you know it's just perfect being you just the way that you are you being in this kind of energy this is what's making all of this happen you you're making all of this happen it's like what would you do if you you know all of this money what would you do with it what would you do you know would you lay by a pool and have beautiful clothes on and, you know, sip your coffee? I love coffee, so <laughs> coffee, <laughs> you know, sip your coffee and look at the beautiful scenery, you know, would you travel somewhere and walk up to a stranger and hand them some money? You know what I mean? If What would you do? Would you, you know, how would that feel to be able to do that, to change somebody else's life? to continue to improve your own life, you know, to um, to be here in this moment and love being you, you know. There's little ways that you can do that. And the more that you do that, the more you're going to attract bigger ways to do that. And it's like in the beginning, yeah, you can help a couple of people every now and then. But it's going to, if you build and grow and you build and grow, then imagine what you can do, you know? It's like right now, Taylor Swift can help a lot of people, right? But when she first started, not so much, right? When she was just at home writing songs. No, you know? She didn't like stop writing songs and go out there and volunteer 24 seven. No, she didn't do that. And maybe that would have been a good thing, but would it have been a great thing? Not really, because then she wouldn't have developed this singing and songwriting thing, right? <laughs> and now, how much, how much can she do for the world? A lot. 
a lot. So this is what we're talking about here. Uh, you have the fire guardian. Ignite your passion. I'm telling you, there's a lot of passion here. This person has a lot of passion for you. They're very attracted to you physically. They're very attracted to you mentally. You know when you're just curious about someone and someone just keeps you guessing and you want to know what they think about this. What do they think about this? You met a new person, you're very intrigued. You know, it's not just the physical. And there, there is something spiritual here that's calling them as well. It's like you have known this person lifetime upon lifetime and you're going to discover each other here. Uh, again, broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. Yeah, be peaceful at this time, even if people around you are not. Even if people around you are requiring things of you to fulfill their own happiness, that's not your job, that's not your responsibility. No. So let's see something else about this person here. This is looking really beautiful. It's like, you know, finally something that is going to go the distance here. Finally something here that you can be excited about just to <gasps> shut up. You got the Phoenix and the Hawk. They came out together. They came out together. So this is the divine is definitely letting you know, hey, yeah, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> okay. And what I love here is look at this. All of these cards have the element of the reddish, orange, yellow, and the golden wings here. So this person is definitely somebody sent from the divine here. It's like handpicked for you by angels, by your spirit guides, by your loved ones that have passed on. You could be getting a message of this here. There is something here where you rose above the ashes. There is something major here in your life that you made a huge change in your life. And you did it to improve. You did it for the better here. So this is a lot of fire energy. And this is a lot of earth energy. So this could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's coming in. Um, you know, or you could have a lot of earth placements in your chart. And this person has a lot of fire. You know, there could be some, there's just something significant about that. But this is your... Earth talks about what is in your 3D reality here. What kind of car do you have? What kind of house do you have? What kind of, you know, friends are around you here? You know, what do you have? What, who are you? You know, what do you do with your day to day? That's, that's changing here significantly to obviously more uh, ease and luxury. <laughs> Right. And then this is talking about, you know, this passion, this fire. So you have a passion for your life because you can live in this luxury and not be passion, not have passion, you know, be bored with your life. You're not. You're getting both. So and this is a person here that's going to ignite this passion here with you. Wow. What a freaking beautiful energy here. Wow. I feel like people, you know, there's going to be some people coming out that are jealous who cares? Who cares? Wow. 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 <laughs> okay. This is your time. You have risk. Yeah. You're taking a risk in love again. You're taking a risk to put yourself out there. You're taking a risk to, you know, believe in yourself and ignore everybody else. Look at this lady here. Look at her. Is she listening to what anybody else is saying? No, she's not. You know, you should really worry. Um, you shouldn't be uh, smiling over there. There's, there's put on the news. There's so many things to worry about. No, nope, not doing it. Not doing it. Not fitting in. That's fine. That's just fine. You know, she's definitely not fitting in. But you know what? Who wants to fit in? When she, look at how happy this chick is. Come on. You know, so there is a risk here that you're taking. But you know, look at this status. You and this other person, and I love this card. I love how even it is. I love the crown above both. That is emperor, empress energy, status. You're increasing your status and you're meeting somebody who's up here where you're at. <laughs> That's never happened to you before. You've always met somebody who was... No, 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 no. You have harmony, optimism, innovation. So you're in harmony with your inner being. You're in harmony with this world here. Wow. You know, you're meeting a person who's very, look how optimistic this guy looks. He looks like the most optimistic guy on the planet. Come on. Optimism. 
This person is optimistic. You're very optimistic. They're in harmony. You're in harmony. It's very interesting because she has this like vines covering her up here and he has them covering down there. So there's very, there's something really balanced here about you and this person. It's very divine counterparty energy here. It's very much so how can we solve this problem and get back to enjoying our lives? You know, that's the kind of energy that this person has. Innovation here, it's like, yeah, this is a different kind of connection than you have ever experienced before, than they have ever experienced before. Wow. You know, you have Taurus energy, Sagittarius, Libra, um, Aquarius, and Aries on those cards. So could be one of those signs. What a freaking, it's like best reading, best reading, best reading, best reading. <gasps> okay. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. You have July, which is Leo or Cancer. So this could be a Cancer person. This could be a Leo person. You have the broken ring here. Parting of ways in either romance or business. There's things that you have broken apart from. There's things that you have moved away from. And you're completely moving away from those things. This person could be leaving a connection. They could have left a connection. And now they're coming in. Yeah. You have fan. Romance, celebration, party. There could be somebody here that you thought was in a commitment or something like that and it didn't work out. Um, but now they're coming towards you here. So that could be something that it's like you didn't know this. You didn't expect this uh, of this person. Um, I feel like that's only going to be for some of you here. This is amazing. An amazing reading here. I feel like you're upgrading past a lot of different things. Upgrading past uh you know certain business stuff that you're just outgrowing relationships that you're outgrowing so there's something here that you're outgrowing and you're moving on towards new here yeah so beautiful leo okay thank you if this video resonated and you want to like or subscribe i will greatly appreciate it okay also, I have a TikTok. It's called Sicilian Rose Tarot. And I have a book. It's called One Light. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, all the information is in the description.